Ice. Now, the Deputy Minister for the Department of Telecommunications and Postal Services, Professor Hingu Mkize, delivered a keynote opening address at the Franchise Association of South Africa Convention this week that took place, of course, before the expo. And she now joins us in studio alongside John Beladekis, the chairperson of the South African Franchise Association. Well, Honourable Minister, Deputy Minister, thank you so much for coming. Welcome, and of course, to you too as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having us. Great to have you. Um, Deputy Minister, we'll start off with you. I mean, you spoke under the theme of empowering women through the franchise model. Tell us more about that. Well, we really participated in this expo, not for the first time, but clearly with an agenda of exploring possibilities of ensuring that women benefit from this model of the franchise uh, association in a sustainable way. Remember, we've tried cooperatives and small entities, but often there's a problem. If you're, a, if you're starting a business afresh, you don't have the expertise, financial resources, then it, you know, we have the stop and go. So we came to engage them to say, look, we have women ready, entrepreneurs, but, and also yeah. we want sustainability. And let's talk more about that franchise then, John. Sure. Um, tell us more about the International Franchise Expo and the convention that took place and why we needed such an expo you know, at a time like this. So the expo runs every, every year. It's the 20th year that it's been running. And basically we, where we try to find the breeding ground for the next big franchise that's going to happen in South Africa mm -hmm. because it allows all the young franchisors who are wanting to expand their business to come to the expo and show their wares in, in, in fact. Yeah. And what it does really is it brings franchisees and franchisors together so that we can grow the industry, so that we can get franchisors growing and becoming bigger and franchisees that want to enter the marketplace with a platform where they can, they can see the franchi franchisors and choose what they want to do. Now, I understand that this is also a platform for both established franchise concepts as well as new up-and-coming uh, business opportunities, of course, to reflect on the diversity of business sectors that franchise. Is that so? Sure. So there's, uh, the franchise industry is diverse from, from uh, let's, let's say, a silver line, which is in construction, mm -hmm. uh, all the way to um, fuel, all the way through to retail supermarkets, um, car service city, it's, it's everything. And, of course, the fast food industry, which is very well represented within mm -hmm. the franchise arena. And, Deputy Minister, we know that you're passionate about women and the empowerment of women and thus saw an opportunity, of course, to encourage more women to come into franchising and just seize opportunities that are there. Do you feel that this industry lacks more women, specifically in South Africa? Well, you know, funny enough, worldwide, the Franchise Association tends to attract women, mainly because there are advantages of working from home, you develop your own flexi hours. But the problem in South Africa and Africa in general is that people do not have the resources to enter the, the whatever franchise that they might be interested in. So we, we, you know, we, we invited also our small enterprise financial agency and the National Empowerment Fund, so that, we, you know, of course, First National Bank was there, APSA was there. We we're saying to them, look, within development finance, create more opportunities for women in particular to make inroads because the barrier is financial resources for them. Otherwise, the energy, the interest, the commitments, women, they have got it all. Mm. It's just a need to be held by the hand, incubated and grow the, the, uh, independently. But of course, the model sh has to be financially correct for our people. And John, do, do you as an expo and convention support some of the sentiments shared by government, especially seeking to empower women in franchising? Yes, without a doubt. So women account in the last franchise survey that was done, women account for about 28% of the franchise industry. We'd like to see a 50-50 split. Um, uh, women, women tend to really, really do well in the health and beauty and education uh, in, uh, sectors of, the fra of franchising, and they are very strong in those sectors. So yes, without a doubt, I, I agree with, with, the, with the Deputy Minister, and specifically with the fact that we need to empower people in, in, to be able to get into the franchising arena by creating better models yeah. for them. And that's uh, yesterday, we, we, as, as the Franchise Association of South Africa, we signed the uh, uh, MOU with uh, CIFA so that we can bring the two organizations together. And the idea is that in the, in, the year, in, the, in the next year, we start bringing models 
to, to the franchise industry that can mm -hmm. allow previously disadvantaged individuals to get into the industry. Yeah. And speaking of that, take me through some of the themes that were, you know, at the expo. Besides, of course, women uh, empowerment and women participation in franchising being some of, you know, the key points that the Deputy Minister mentioned in her keynote address. But what were some of the themes that you were tackling? So, so one of the biggest themes now is uh, basically the effect of, of internet on the workplace. Mm -hmm. So we've, we're now seeing about 18 million, and that's one of the, one of the speakers said at the, at the conference. Uh, that we're now seeing about 18 million uh, users on smartphones. Mm -hmm. We have uh, about nine, 9 million users on Facebook in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So that whole interconnection between uh, telecoms and uh, the franchise industry is now growing. Customers are, customers are able to basically com complain a lot easier. Um, it's, it's right there and it's immediate. So yes, without a doubt, there's, that's, that was one of the themes that, that we had, we had uh, running through the convention. Well, Deputy Minister, I mean, according to the second franchise industry survey, the franchise sector in South Africa, well, this says, continues to be a key driver to future economic growth. And, you know, with the recent xenophobic attacks that we've seen, it seems that more South Africans on the ground are complaining about whether or not our economy can be able to house foreign nationals or not. Of course, violence not being the answer to that question. But do you feel that franchising, exploring opportunities within franchising could be one of the key ways, of course, to grow our economy in the country? Well, maybe we haven't taken time to show our young people advantages of having their African brothers and sisters within the same space. Because when we check markets, South Africa is a very small market. But if you have a Zimbabwean here or Mozambican or Angolan, you have a huge opportunity, the big chance to start your own small business and have that country as a, an immediate market for you. One of the things, take for instance mobile money. Which countries are doing better? I mean, Eastern Africa, Kenya, Nigeria, all over around us, they're doing very well. And as South Africans, we need to get our youth and women to collaborate yeah. across the continent on, these, on all these opportunities mm -hmm. so that they have a bigger muscle and a big... Obviously, maybe we haven't taken time to show, to show them that they have the work is done mm. if they live in the same neighborhood with the other young people from the continent. And and, and as you speak, Deputy Minister, you know, I, I hear in my head, you know, the issue of education and literacy around these business opportunities. Where do we find, of course, besides the Expo and the Convention, but, but where do we find opportunities to learn more about them? If I'm not yet trading in the franchising sector, are there opportunities for me to learn more about it, places where I can read up about, you know, opportunities in franchising? John might say yeah. a little bit more about that, but mm -hmm. we, we have been looking at our colleges, universities, as to how much is being done formally around entrepreneurial uh, skills development. You know, we have bits and pieces of um, lectures and courses, but we don't really have schools where people could walk in there and come out as a CEO, COO, of an, an, a small entity, an enterprise. And that's, those are discussions we've been having around the area of ICT. I'm in ICT. Yes. And there's a huge, there, I mean, there are amazing opportunities for young people there. You know, when I came back, I was telling John that so many people were calling me, saying we want to add value to a mobile, we want to add value mm. to this. So we, we want to have a visual, we'll support their visual yeah. expo so that as many people as possible could yeah. acquire skills in partnership with the private sector. All right. Remember and John, this. you might just want to add on that, and please give us your details um, after your comment. Yes, sure. So basically, um, FASA has got a webpage. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're welcome to go to the webpage, FASA.co.za, FASA.co.za. There's a host of information on there. Uh, there's books that you can buy, buy off, off, off the FASA website. And then, of course, uh, tap into the banks because, uh, so let's say, for example, the, our, sponsor, our biggest sponsors within FASA are, are APSA. Mm -hmm. They've got a huge amount of knowledge on the franchise industry. They've got a whole lot of people dedicated to it. They've just brought out a book which, which basically explains the whole of franchising. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, there, there is a lot of literature out there. But as far as FASA is concerned, we're there to help you. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Deputy Minister, within, of course, Telecommunications and Postal Services, Professor Atleng Mumkiza, thank you for your time, as well as John Beladakis. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Absolutely correct. Well done to me. <laughs> of course, the Chairperson of the South African Franchise Association. Thank you so much and all thank the best, of course, thank today's you. convention.